At 11 p.m. in San Francisco, the city beds down. At the International Airport, a film company moves out on runway five. The work is dangerous. Three weeks later, north of the city, a man wrestles his machine through a bend. He started in films as an actor. Today, he's more involved, deeply concerned with life, deeply concerned as a filmmaker. He's Steve McQueen, and the film is Bullet. In the beginning, we felt that we should start off working in close harmony at a racetrack so that Bill Hickman and myself would be used to working close to each other at high speed. So we went out to Katati Raceway up above San Francisco and worked at high speeds at well over the ton mark. Highly bred cars are capricious. The men who drive, like Hickman and McQueen, are sensitive to every twitch of the wheel. They react with strength and pinpoint timing. It was very hairy and that's something that I'd want to do real quick. Steve McQueen works by instinct, reflex, unconsciously concealed know-how. Above all is his reverence to authenticity. This is the story of his commitment to truth. The electric atmosphere of the city's biggest, busiest hospital is given an extra jolt when one of its wards turns into a location for the solar production of Bullet. The thing we tried to achieve was not to do a theatrical film, but a film about reality. So we did shoot actually in a hospital, and instead of using actors for doctors, we used doctors. Instead of using actresses for nurses, we used nurses. Three men on a hospital bed probe reality. Writer Kleiner, Steve McQueen, and director Peter Yates. Steve digs into characters in such a way as to bring up an original way of portraying an emotion. I mean, he really works like mad to find a way which is right for him and which he can believe in. Peter Yates also finds Robert Vaughn as another of the new breed of actor who digs into a character to bring out an emotion. The operation that takes place in the film was done with an actor, of course, but done with real doctors. The feelings, the sensitivities that were in that hospital, this is the kind of reality that's important in motion pictures. If you try to act it, it doesn't quite come across as if you're really doing it. Lieutenant, don't try to evade the responsibility. In your parlance, you blew it. To you, it was a job, no more. Were it more, had you the dedication I was led to believe? Believe what you want. You work your side of the street, and I'll work mine. Lieutenant, I shall personally officiate your public crucifixion. I cut it. Shooting a film entirely on location does have its problems. One of our locations was the architect's office where Jacqueline Bissett, who plays my girlfriend in the film, worked. 
And these people who worked there, of course, were very dubious about a motion picture crew coming in with sound equipment and cameras and interrupting their work. They were very courteous, and they showed our actors how to work the slide rulers, how draftsmen would be, how they would act. We chose Jacqueline Bisset for the film because I felt that she had a very sincere quality to her, I think. When you're choosing a girl to play opposite Steve McQueen, you have to be very, very careful because he doesn't look the kind of man who would have a girl who was in any way painted or presented with a feeling of, of insincerity. velocity per second of a five inch pipe. Oh. Look to the extreme right. Now go down the column till you find 600. Got it. Now go across till you find the five inch pipe column. What does it say? 9.8. Now find me the loss in feet. In feet, huh? 1800 velocity. Now find me 1,800 gallons per minute and the velocity per second of a five-inch pipe. What? Well? I lost my place. Our big problems, of course, in doing a chase as dangerous as this on the streets, is that nothing comes off like wheels, axles, shock absorbers, because the things that we did in the streets with automobiles, I don't think will be done for a long, long time. We had Bill Hickman, who was probably one of the finest stunt drivers in the world today, and myself was probably the worst. Then we had both of our minds psyched in together. So then all we had to do was get the stuntmen, which we had eight, we thought were the best, and put them in cars to act as pedestrians so that when we were going by them at well over 100 miles an hour, we knew what they were going to do and they knew what we were going to do. And of course, uh, a car coming at that speed, if you lose it and spin it, the men are in great jeopardy. Then, of course, we planned out our route. We were involved in approximately 22 to 30 square blocks, so we had close to 50 people stationed with walkie-talkies in different parts of the city that we were shooting in that would be able to give us uh, clearances when to start and know that everything would be taken care of as far as people accidentally walking into the scene. a bond between audience and actor with his concern for reality. He is using San Francisco for its one-of-a-kind atmosphere, the stark drama it lends to the film. We shot out on the runway, and this again was fairly dangerous because uh, I had to get in front of the airplane and lay flat on the ground and have the wheels go over me. And of course, it had shockwaves that lifted me off of the cement and slapped me down. Steve McQueen works for the truth in Bullet.